Hi, this is Anton, aka Slab Propel 13. Oh, I didn't get much chance to get out on the water in 2017. Had a few health issues such as bursitis in one of my shoulders, uh, requiring cortisone injections. That laid me up for a while. Got over that, and then I ended up with uh, wrist tendonitis. Also had uh, cortisone injections there, and also. 2017 was a very very windy month so there were times when I just couldn't get out. This video is the first episode uh, for this year for 2018. Hopefully it won't be the last and we went over to Nelson just over the South Australian Victorian border to the Glenelg River which is on the lower Glenelg River National Park absolutely beautiful area for those who haven't been there i would fully suggest that uh, you pop over there with your kayaks and if you like fishing it's a great place for fishing although the week that i was there was uh, a little bit quiet and uh, i think that was due to a big change that came through um, but if you just want to go kayak touring absolutely excellent spot with uh, camp spots all along the river and you just get a permit and you can stay at any one of them for any amount of time. The first little segment in this video I went out from the Isle of Bags and that was mainly just to burn out a few cobwebs and just to start to get back into a routine of kayaking and loading up fishing gear. Uh, it's only about five minutes uh, upstream of the town the second section of the video is a place called Sapling Creek uh, where I was fishing there and around the bend at a place called Wilson's Hall and that's where I caught my very first estuary perch so that one's one that I've uh, ticked off the uh, bucket list. Um, actually when you see the uh, piece of uh, structure, an old tree that's in the river uh, where I caught the fish I caught about a half a dozen there but uh, because the bites were so small I didn't bother about uh, videoing it um, just to record the very first one was the main thing. Um, second or third place I went to is uh, Saunders Landing that's about 25 kilometres outside of uh, Nelson on the way to Dartmoor and you go off the Bitchman Road and you go through about two kilometres of really dense scrubland with a dirt track and then suddenly out of nowhere you get this big opening and there's an old uh, ramp and landing there where you can launch your kayaks. The water there was absolutely pristine. Um, I could see fish around but they just weren't interested in biting. So as I said the main thing is just to show people who haven't been there what the Glenelg River looks like and maybe entice you to pop over there and have a bit of a yak. Um, last year I had a lot of microphone troubles and some of my videos I had to do overdubs because the extension that plugged into the camera and went to the, you know, the lapel mic that I had on the uh, PFD um, with the rear camera, if I leant forward to take a fish off or change gear, it would come unplugged for the front uh, camera you know I'd uh, lean around to get gear out of the backpack off of the back of my seat or to turn around to get rods and the extension cord would come unplugged there it actually happened on this trip too um, unbeknown to me uh, one of the uh, microphones got a bit loose what I've done now is I've purchased three of these little microphones that plugs into your camera and the microphone sits there and as you can see no leads. The only thing that you have to do, um, I've got uh, Hero 4 Silvers, you will have to sacrifice your case if you want it. Um, I've heard so many videos of people uh, trying to record through the waterproof case and uh, all you hear is just muffled sound. So the microphone, I cut the holes with a uh, Dremel tool and it just slots in there like that. And then I seal up around where the microphone goes in 
with uh, blue tack so that keeps it relatively waterproof uh, obviously you're not going to put this case with a microphone under water um, but it will protect you if you're getting splash coming over the bow or if you've got a fish that's flapping around and throwing uh, water everywhere um, what I'll have to do is buy a third case and just have that purely for any underwater shots and uh, that one won't be sacrificed and by the way um, I'm recording this on uh, one of those little microphones that's on the uh, camera that's uh, doing the recording so that'll give you an idea of what the sound quality is like so I hope you enjoy the uh, video uh, it's only about 10 minutes long plus uh, this five to six minute intro uh, in front of each section I've put a map of the Glenelg River showing where I was launching so that you've got an idea of uh, you know where the layout of the land is so hopefully this is the first of uh, many videos for 2018 and I hope you enjoy uh, anyone that may be interested in purchasing some of these little microphones if you contact me through the YouTube channel and I can put you on to the people online who are selling them they're only about three dollars ninety Australian and they arrive in about uh, four to five working days so that's it this is uh, Anton aka Slayer Propel 13 I hope you enjoy the video and uh, catch you around. Bye. Well, here I am at Nelson having my first time out. Took me a while to get myself organised having not really been out for a, a decent pedal in uh, quite a while so I've launched at the Isle of Bags beautiful day, slight breeze uh, probably about 23-24 degrees so uh, just going to try over near the cliffs and see if there's any brim over there water's not looking too bad um, and judging by the, what I can see in the middle uh, there seems to be a little bit of a current running which might be quite good in my favour just keep my eye out I can hear a motorboat so I've got my uh, Burley Pro warning flag so hopefully they can see that before they see me well this is mostly to blow out a few cobwebs so I'm just dropping my line occasionally but uh, having a, a look at an area that uh, I haven't checked out before this area is called Simpsons Landing and uh, on the other side um, there's a boat ramp and that's where the ski boats and the fairly fast boats launch up through here there's a the Glenelg River National Park which is like a canyon and uh, it winds you know right around absolutely pristine conditions I'm out of the wind where I am the uh, hills off to my side I don't know they'll probably be about 50 feet high uh, protecting me from the wind and as you can hear very very quiet except for the bird noises so um, just sort of familiarizing myself with areas that I haven't uh, kayaked before um, there's plenty of days left to do some serious fishing but at the moment as I said I'm just you know, I'll drop the line occasionally but it's more just having a look at the area here I am at Sapling Creek on the second day um, I've had to do a voiceover because I lost the audio one of my microphones came undone and there is my very first estuary perch so that's something I can tick off the bucket list now and uh, you'll see me talking but uh, you can see the GoPro behind me the 
plug uh, from the microphone came out. Uh, caught this estuary perch on a hurricane uh, two and a quarter inch sub grub in sump oil colour. He went back to grow another day, he was only 26 centimetres. The minimum legal for estuary perch is 27, so I dropped my line down here in between this uh, snag again which was just floating out in the middle of the river um, although I didn't capture it on the, the GoPro cameras uh, ended up with six for the day. I hung around this uh, bit of structure and as you can see I kept on uh, getting bites but the fish were wrapping themselves around the structure I lost three or four uh, jig heads and uh, the other thing that's going on is my lovely telescopic rod uh, the eyes get on flipping around I didn't uh, get footage of uh, the other fish I caught because they're all around the same size as the other one and uh, a bit boring seeing all the fish about the same size uh, so I decided after having a few problems getting snagged and whatever and at least I'd uh, you know, captured some fish I decided to uh, head off and have another try uh, a bit further upstream. Well this is the track into Saunders Landing which is the area where I'm going to be uh, launching today. things we kayakers do to get the fish. Right, we're just about at the end now. I can see the river off to my right. And there she be. I've just walked at Saunders Landing. It is hot and muggy, overcast, it's late in the afternoon, but the water is like a little pond. The best water I've had on the trip so far. Absolutely still as anything. So let's just hope that there may be some fish about. So I've got a couple of top water lures that uh, I'm going to cast. leashes on all my rods just in case uh, one comes.
not working properly. Just move it up. Well, here I am at uh, just past Saunders Landing, sort of moving upstream. Uh, late in the afternoon, very, very still. The best kayaking conditions I've had for the whole trip. Um, so, as you can hear, there's nothing except birds, not even wind. Uh, I'm trying some uh, top uh, water fishing here to see if I can get any reasonable size um, estuary perch. So, I've had a few casts and nothing as yet, so. Uh, We'll just have to see how we go. I've gone upstream from uh, Saunders Landing and uh, been throwing uh, uh, topwater lures around. Not too much happening there so I decided I'd uh, just do a bit of trolling in the middle of the river. And then on the way back I'll just work the banks uh, with some uh, deep diving ones to see how I go because uh, top water's not working too well at the moment. But absolutely pristine area, absolutely beautiful. If nothing else, if I don't catch any fish, at least uh, you can uh, enjoy the scenery like I'm doing. <laughs> 